Based on formal charges, which of the Lewis structures shown below is the most likely structure of HNO2? A. Structure 1 B. Structure 2 or C. Structure 3 These are all valid Lewis structures. The hydrogen atoms follow the duet rule and all the oxygen and nitrogen atoms follow the octet rule. The total number of electrons represented correspond to the correct total number of valence electrons. So how do we determine which structure best resembles reality? In general, the most feasible structure is one where all the atoms have zero formal charge. Let's examine these structures. A hydrogen atom has a zero formal charge if it has only one single bond and it doesn't have a lone pair. That is the case in all structures. How about nitrogen? A nitrogen atom has a zero formal charge if it has three bonding pairs and one lone pair. That's not the case in structure two. In structure two, the nitrogen atom has one bonding pair and three lone pairs. One, two, three. How about oxygen? An oxygen atom has a zero formal charge if it has two bonding pairs and two lone pairs. We can see that this is not the case in structure two. Both oxygen atoms in structure two have three bonding pairs and one lone pair. This is also not the case for both oxygen atoms in structure one. Therefore, structure three is the only structure shown here where all the atoms have a zero formal charge. The correct answer is C, structure 3. Here's a quick review for calculating formal charges. An oxygen atom by itself has six valence electrons. We can determine this by looking at the periodic table. Oxygen belongs to group 6A. Atoms belonging to group 6A have six valence electrons. In structure 1, it appears to own five two in the lone pair, and one from each of the three bonding pairs. Remember that for purposes of calculating formal charge, an atom is assigned ownership of half of the shared electrons. Therefore, the oxygen in structure one appears to have lost one electron. Its formal charge is positive one. The formal charges for the first oxygen, nitrogen, and the second oxygen is in structure one are positive one, zero, and negative one respectively. For structure two, it's positive one, positive one, and negative two. And for structure three, it's zero, zero, and zero. Structures with like charges on neighboring atoms are very unlikely. In structure two, neighboring oxygen atoms both have a formal charge of positive one. That's not good. Structures with Formal charges of positive two or negative two are very unlikely to resemble reality. Again, we see that in structure two. The formal charges in structure one are okay. Actually, structures one and three are resonance structures. They have the same connectivity, only the electron distribution is different. But we would expect structure three to have a more significant contribution to the resonance hybrid. In other words, we expect reality to resemble the electron distribution in structure 3 more than in structure 1.